We are developing this immunotherapy aiming to prevent relapse in AML. It's a combination of histamine dihydrochloride and low doses of IL-2. And the, the idea or the concept is based on activating immunity to combat leukemic cells. And we believe that this particular form of therapy is likely to be more efficacious after patients with AML have completed their chemotherapy. At that point in time, the clone of malignant cells, the amount of malignant cells is very low. And if you can find a modality or method of actually combating those remaining cells that may be as few as 10 to the 8 or 10 to the 7 cells, then you may uh, prevent an upcoming relapse in patients. What um, I would like to say also is that immunity needs to evolve over time. Patients, if you start an immune activating therapy, that immune activating therapy will not be able to recognize and eliminate leukemic cells if the time frame is too short. And in AML you have a specific difference between different types of AML. Some have, have rapid progression, mostly associated with different types of genetic changes that determine rapid progression of the disease. And then you have a large proportion of patients, for instance, nucleophosmine mutations in AML. Those patients, many of them will in fact relapse, but it will take time. And that means that in that group of patients, it seems more attractive to use modalities of immune activation. Uh, you gain time and there's a battle between immunity and proliferation, expansion of the leukemic clone and the likelihood of success in favor of immunity is higher. And that is why we want to use Supreme IL-2 in different types of trials, focusing on nucleophosmin 1, MPM1 positive patients. We know that the relative risk of relapse is lower, but we also have reasons to believe that the efficacy of immunotherapy is likely to be higher.